Welcome to our discussion on the SPDR Portfolio Intermediate Term Corporate Bond ETF, or SPIB for short. SPIB is an exchange-traded fund, ETF, that tracks the performance of a basket of intermediate term corporate bonds. These bonds are issued by corporations and have a maturity of 3 to 10 years. In this script, we will cover the basics of SPIB, including its holdings, performance, and risk factors. What is SPIB and how does it work? SPIB is an ETF that aims to provide investors with a diversified portfolio of intermediate-term corporate bonds. It is managed by State Street Global Advisors, one of the largest asset managers in the world. SPIB tracks the Bloomberg Barclays Intermediate-Term Corporate Bond Index, which consists of a broad range of corporate bonds with maturities of 3 to 10 years. The index is made up of investment-grade bonds, meaning that the issuing companies have a strong credit rating and a lower risk of default. To invest in SPIB, you can buy shares of the ETF through a brokerage account. The price of the shares is based on the value of the underlying bonds in the ETF. As the value of the bonds increases or decreases, so does the price of the shares. What are the holdings of SPIB? SPIB holds a diverse portfolio of intermediate-term corporate bonds, with over 500 individual bonds as of June 2021. The top five holdings of the ETF make up approximately 10% of the portfolio. The top holding is a bond issued by Verizon Communications Inc., with a weight of 2.6% in the portfolio. Other top holdings include bonds issued by Goldman Sachs Group Inc., Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer Inc., and Cisco Systems Inc. In terms of sector representation, the largest portion of the portfolio is made up of bonds issued by financial companies, followed by healthcare, technology, and industrials. How has SPIB performed? Since its inception in 2018, SPIB has provided investors with steady returns. In the past year, the ETF has returned approximately 5.4% as of June 2021. Over the longer term, the performance of the ETF has been in line with the Bloomberg Barclays Intermediate Term Corporate Bond Index. The index has returned approximately 5.5% per year over the past decade. It's important to note that the performance of SPIB and other bond ETFs can be affected by changes in interest rates. As interest rates rise, bond prices tend to fall, and vice versa. What are the risks of investing in SPIB? Like any investment, SPIB carries certain risks that investors should be aware of. One of the main risks is credit risk, which refers to the risk that the issuing company will default on its debt. While the bonds in the ETF are investment grade, there is still a risk that a company could default, which could affect the value of the bonds and the ETF. In addition, the performance of SPIB and other bond ETFs can be affected by changes in interest rates. As mentioned earlier, rising interest rates can lead to a decline in bond prices. Finally, there is also the risk of market risk, which refers to the risk that the overall market could decline, affecting the value of the ETF. Conclusion In summary, the SPDR Portfolio Intermediate Term Corporate Bond ETF is an ETF that tracks a diversified portfolio of intermediate term corporate bonds. It has provided steady returns over the past year and has a solid track record over the long term. However, like any investment, it carries certain risks, including credit risk, interest rate risk, and market risk.